What's going on everybody? JT here coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go and today is Eevee Community Day which isn't the most exciting thing to say, I'm not gonna lie to you, but we're gonna go Shundo hunting with Goku and Ivan. I'm not with them just yet, they're running a little late but it's perfectly fine because we're gonna be on the hunt very soon and I am hopeful that we'll get at least one Shundo Eevee. That's really what I want, but in total I would like to have three. I want one for the Sylveon, I would love a Shundo Sylveon, it sounds amazing. I'd also like a Shundo Umbreon because Umbreon is like the best one and it's useful, so I definitely want that. But also, I just wanna have a Shundo Eevee just as a plain Eevee because it has a Gigantamax and I'm sure that's going to come into Pokemon Go eventually, as long as the game's still around by that time, but I really feel like we're going to get Dynamax and Gigantamax in the game sometime soon. So I would like to have a Shundo Eevee, because Eevee does have a Gigantamax. So, fingers crossed we'll get at least one, but if we get three, that'd be pretty amazing. But, on that note, let us try to meet up with uh, Goku and Ivan, and let's see how it goes. And now, we're in the car with Goku! How's it going, Goku? Hi guys, how are you? I hope they're good. Yeah, I've right. never they heard them respond. respond I have to be honest with you, I've never heard them respond once. Sometimes I imagine they do, but <laughs> then I think to myself, am I going crazy? Anyways. Very much possible. <laughs> that means probably happening. I got a shiny Eevee! Yay! Yay! Oh yeah, I already Golden Raspberry did. I'm down. You know, like, we're gonna definitely catch as many of these as possible, plus we need to catch Eevees anyways for the little dollar ticket the thingy that I'll be showing you, but, yeah, I mean, not a lot of people popping lures right now. This guy's popping lures like crazy, trying to get, you know, that picnicker badge, and looks like you're gonna be the only one popping lures right now. Not everybody seems to care about this one. <laughs> well, I mean, oh. I overslept, Ivan overslept, so even we don't really care. It's very true. Like, I woke up, and then they're like, yeah, we're gonna be late, and I was like, <laughs> that's fair. So I laid back down, too. <laughs> I only, like, took, like, a two-second shower and then got down here. Anywho, bad Eevee. Let's take a look at the lovely little research. There's this one where you have to catch five Eevees and then power up a Pokemon five times, and you get a Mossy and Glacial Lore, which is good for the Leafeon and Glaceon. But we also have to power up a Pokemon ten times, catch 15 Eevee, and make seven nice throws for one of five of the what-you-choose-to-be Eevee Community Day thingy. Let's do that. Okay, let's actually check all these Eevees real quick just to see if we get a shiny in this cluster. By the way, as you can see, I have AR turned on and make sure you have Niantic AR turned off. You can do quick checks so easily, especially if you're like moving way too fast. This is the best way to do it, guys. Let's see if we make to the incense one. It's not shiny. I've already checked those down there, so let's move down to this little research. We're gonna get some pineapps, we're gonna get some Eevee candy and probably an Eevee. And it's a shiny Eevee! Hey! That's the first time I've ever gotten a shiny Eevee from a research like this. <clears throat> Spoiler alert, that's a bad Eevee. E 443? Yeah. I thought so. Thanks, Goku, buddy old pal! You're welcome, buddy! Hmm. No Shundo for JT today. Fine. Fine. You know what? I don't even want- I'm just gonna- Let's see how right he is. He's definitely right. Ooh. I mean, it's the best shiny Eevee I've gotten today so far, and the first time again that I've gotten it from a research, which is really cool, because usually those paid ones, I never get them. Shiny check the incense one, not a whitish color, perfectly fine. Let's go back to these and get ourselves some dust, some balls, and some incense, or one incense, not some. And then we'll skip through his dialogue, which I'm sure is fantastic, and then we'll catch 15 Eevee, transfer 10 <laughs> Pokemon, and evolve three Eevee. Neat. Okay, got three EB checks off the research. Will we get a shiny off of them? Ooh, 454, that's a good one, but not white, that's fine. How about you? No, 449, not great. And the last one is not shiny, and a 439, thankfully not shiny. So this is amazing. Do you see this right here? That is a wild hair cross. Sadly not shiny, but it looks like Niantic probably messed up with this one. I'm not gonna say that this was intentional because they intentionally turned it off, but wow. We just started Heracross Community Day, guys. Seriously, I'm hoping that the shiny rate's the same. It should be, because the rest of the world has still shiny Heracross. I would hope that it isn't turned off right now. But who knows? I mean, it's worth a shot, right? I mean, I'm down, like, seriously. I would love to run into a wild shiny Heracross, especially with boosted odds right now. That would be just insanity, so. Good luck, Goku. He didn't uh, get it off that one. I haven't, but. I haven't, yeah. And I have not done any Heracross raids since it's been in the raid since the shiny release. So I'm really hoping to take advantage of this time and possibly get a shiny Heracross. I would love to see a wild one, 100%. Let's, let's freaking go. We're now in the truck with the Ivan. How you doing, Ivan? Yeah. Uh, 
nice. And we also have... We did it right A there. Hundo EV somewhere around here. <laughs> 397 And I literally just clicked on it. Not shiny, though. Dang it. Which oh, well. It? It's like by himself. Hi, Goku. Oh, yeah, he's like oh, not wait. in the cluster. He's just kind of like... Is it next to the dude? I don't know. I literally okay. clicked on it. Mm. Boom. We got a Hundo. Sadly, not a Shundo. Not but hopefully Shundo. somebody gets it. Nope. nope, nope for everybody. All right, well, so much for that. I completely forgot to do this. Let's claim these little lore modules just because they're free. Claim our final rewards, which I'm assuming is going to give us an EV. But will it be shiny? No, but a 454. That's a good one. Shiny hair across. Woohoo! Woo I haven't actually checked mine. I didn't get it, but hey, Liz! Let's go. There we go. So it is in the wild. We're taking a small break now at the Wawa here. And we gotta actually complete this research. I completely forgot about it. When it comes down to these, these are all the evolutions. So this one is Vaporeon. There's gonna be Flareon and Jolteon. I'm just gonna skip these like encounters for you guys. But if one turns out to be really good, I'll show it to you. I actually didn't check them yet, but let's just do it in front of you. We got the Vaporeon here. It's okay. The Jolteon's fine. And the Flareon, they're all bad. Doesn't matter. We're gonna transfer them any anyways. Even if they were Hundos, I was gonna get rid of them. So now let's just claim this reward here. Get our last minute stuff. And now we skip the Professor as well. Thank you, Professor. I am sure this is fascinating. Make three great curveball throws, transfer 10 Pokemon, and evolve to Eevee. That's very simple. Many hours later. And just like that, day one of Eevee Community Day is officially over. And we did pretty good. Sadly, we didn't get a Shundo, but we did get 58 shiny Eevees, which is pretty crazy. I mean, I am very surprised I got that many, to be honest with you. With the amount of, like, grinding we were doing, mostly for Hundos, I'm very surprised I got that many. Hopefully tomorrow, during day two, we can get ourselves a Shundo, because not one person in the truck got a Shundo. So, I hope it happens, because I would love to show it. But not only that, hopefully we can get ourselves a shiny hair cross in the wild. Liz got one. Huge congrats to Liz. That's insanely cool. I really wish I got one in the wild, too, just because normally we couldn't do that, because they removed them from the wild. But because of Community Day, basically it just canceled the Ultra Unlock event and just threw an Eevee event where the Heracrosses were still technically allowed to spawn in. It's amazing that that's even a thing, and their shiny rates are increased during that time. So hopefully tomorrow we can get at least one. I would love to get a wild shiny one during this time because of the increased rates, but you never know. But anyways, guys, on that note, I'll see you tomorrow because I am extremely tired. I literally landed here from Colorado, I would say at, uh, I think I landed at like 7 a.m. And I only got to sleep like maybe two and a half to three hours and I am exhausted. So I'm gonna get some sleep and I'll see you tomorrow. And now it's day two. Hi, Ivan. Hello. He was literally just asleep a little bit ago, but we're here on a hundo and it's a shundo for me. I am so freaking happy right now. I wanted at least one. And now we got one, so very, very, very happy. Though I'm very surprised it's not weather boosted over here. I'm very <laughs> lucky that we got this though. Very, very lucky we got this. Gotta love the discords. Thank you so much for pinging these undos when you guys find them. Now please, tell me that I'm not wrong. Please tell me that this is a Shundo because I'm gonna lose my mind. There it is, Shundo Eevee. I'm so freaking happy right now. I really hope Ivan gets one. I mean, that's, what would you turn dope. it into if you were to get one? Uh, probably Sylveon for usefulness. Yeah. Um, it's either that or Umbreon are definitely the top two choices. That's what sure. I've been thinking too. I don't know which one I want, but we got at least one Shundo and I'm really happy about it. Now that we got that Shundo, I completely forgot that we have to do the special research that we paid for, so might as well claim these rewards. I already clicked on one of them on accident, and here is an Umbreon. Pretty cool down with it, which means we're definitely going to get an Espeon in this one, but I don't know what the third reward is going to be, because Gen 2 only had two extra evolutions in it. So, boom, the Umbreon is gone. You actually really want to get a Hundo of this, specifically for PvP. It is a really good PvP Pokemon, and mine is not a Hundo, unfortunately, but that's perfectly fine. Let's see what the middle one is. It's an Eevee. Okay, cool. So there's an Eevee, and then there's probably an Espeon in here, if I had to make a guess. And then the last one, probably an Espeon. How did I know? And our final rewards are going to be, looks like Great Balls and a Super Rocket Radar, or not Super, but just a Rocket Radar, which I love hoarding because, you know, I like to grind those shiny shadows. And then we skip the Professor yet again. 
There we go. Now we gotta catch 15 Eevee, use 15 berries of any kind, so it's good that you don't have to be specific about it, and then evolve to Eevee. And we're probably gonna get Leafeon and Glaceon in this one if I had to make a guess. All right, well, we're clearly outside of the truck now. Ivan was feeling really tired and Liz had to go so she couldn't drive anymore. So we're just gonna hang out for the rest of this calm day. To be honest with you, I already got one Shundo and that's more than enough for me. I mean, who knows in the future we might get more and I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it just yet, but we might come up with something for that in a second. But first, actually, I do wanna claim these rewards for four or five. So let's see what this one is. It is. Ooh, a Leafeon. That's pretty fun. I know that they've made these available through raids, but to be honest with you, I never raided them because I felt like it was kind of a waste. <laughs> to be honest, you could just get a lore and do it, and you didn't even have to pay for the lore. Just use somebody else's lore. And I'm assuming that this one's probably going to be a Glaceon. I am right. Which means the middle one's probably an Eevee, if I had to make a guess. They're cool. They're not really that meta-relevant. I think Glaceon has some use. And I know that Leafeon is useful now that it has Bullet Seed, but I just don't know how useful they're going to be for, like, PvP. They're definitely not for raids or anything like that. But there we go, we caught that one. And the middle one. What are you? An Eevee. That isn't shiny. And it is a 450... That's a really good one. 459, I believe, is the hundo, so I'm definitely down with that. But now we can claim our final rewards here, which are going to be Ultra Balls, and we're going to get ourselves some Incubators, or just one Incubator. And then after that... Oh, it looks like we're done. We're going to skip the Professor yet again. Don't care. Thank you very much, man. 100 EV candy, another silver, probably another EV. That isn't shiny, unfortunately. Perfectly fine. 448. 448, come on, buddy. There we go. Got sticky balled there for a second. And now the very final rewards are going to be an EV. Really? I thought there was a Sylveon at the end of this. Am I? Oh, did I not catch the EV? I didn't catch the EV. Okay, there we go. Final reward time. I <laughs> Whoops, it's fine. Whatever. Our final reward is going to be a Sylveon. There it is, cool. This is the first time, and I think the only time we've ever had Sylveon from a actual encounter, which is really cool. It's really freaking cool. So, let's just get this little ultra going here. Boom. And hopefully we'll get a hundo of this, even though I already have a hundo Sylveon. I made sure to do that, like, right away. But there we go. Click. Perfect. Awesome. Let's see. I want to mine an extra one just to have it. And it is... Not a hundo, definitely not. Now that we're done with that, we're just gonna head out and explore. There's actually a farmer's market right over there and I grabbed some kettle corn. This stuff is too good. It's too good. So yeah, hunt around, maybe we'll get some more EVs and if we do, if they're amazing, I'll show you. But if we don't have anything too cool, we'll just see you right after calm day. So I'm at home right now. EV community day is not even over, but my phone is pretty much out of power and I don't have an external that's charged. So I came back just to chill for a little bit and I did a raid. And we got a shiny hair across. Not from the wild, sadly, but it is possible at this moment to get them from the wild, which is really cool. And also, this is my seventh shiny hair across. I really wish I could get one in the wild, because we did actually run into a few. Wow, really? Come on. Boom. But the only person who got one was Liz. Huge shout out to Liz. Again, thank you so much for driving, Liz. But also, she got the shiny hair across in the wild, which is so cool. And I know a few of you guys actually did get one, so huge congrats on that. But. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna get one in the wild until they're like fully back in the wild, but let's take a look at this terrible one. 1736. Wow, come on. 10, 15, 15. You couldn't have had 15 attack. Oh well. I actually did get a 2200 one, so it was weather boosted, and it is a 14, 14, 15. So if there's ever bottle caps, that's two bottle caps away from being a Shundo, but other than that, still cool though. I love that it's a female with the heart horn. And I think, who sent this to me? It's from Denver. I don't actually remember who sent this to me and I feel terrible. Thank you to whoever you are in Denver. I really appreciate it. And now it is a lot later. In fact, it's 2.20 in the morning on a Monday. So it's today by the time you guys are watching this. And it's time to decide what to make our Shundo Eevee. I put up a poll on Twitter because I needed help. I wanted to see what everybody was thinking. And then I called it really soon because accidentally I made it 24 hours when it shouldn't have been a 24 hour poll. But anywho, I was very surprised by the results. As you can see right here, 22.8 of you guys thought that it should actually be an Eevee for Gigantamax, which is way higher than I thought. I really did not expect that to be even close to that. And then Sylveon was at 37.2%, and Umbreon won with 40%. And to be honest with you, I really expected this. I really did. I was really thinking that this Eevee right here that I have walking around me here was going to become an Umbreon. So, might as well do it, right? Let's go here, turn in the word shiny, and then four star. There we go. I already gave it a Poffin so that if we, you know, you guys chose Sylveon, it could be a Sylveon, but it's not going to be a Sylveon. This is going to become a Shundo Umbreon. I let the people decide. Again, if you're not following me on Twitter, 
please do. There's a link in the description box below. It'll give you access, and then you can participate in things and actually have a say. Because if you didn't like what we did here, you had a vote that you could have cast. But there it is. Shundo Umbreon. Very happy with this. Extremely good for Ultra League PvP. Really good. And it's got Psychic and Foul Play, which I believe are the best moves, but I don't think Feign Attack is the move I want on this. I think I want to get Snarl. There we go, perfect. Snarl, Psychic, and Foul Play, I believe are the best moves. But we also gotta power this bad boy up all the way to a 2416, and we're gonna best buddy this. Of course we have to best buddy this, for sure. But there we go, we got a Shundo that is now a level 50, so let's tag this real quick as a level 50 and a Shundo. Boom. Magical. It's really cool, I'm really happy we have this now. And it should be my buddy, but unfortunately when you evolve things that are your buddy, sometimes it glitches and it doesn't show up. We've now refreshed the game, and there it is. That's the Shundo Umbreon just walking around. Definitely best buddying this, I really, really have to. And I'm so happy, I mean it looks amazing. Let's try to click on him real quick. It's a great shiny. I love it. And a great Shundo, of course. I mean, Sylveon would have been really cool, not gonna lie, but Sylveon is useful, but not as useful, in my opinion, as an Umbreon. But there's also the December Community Day that'll come up. Maybe we'll get another Shundo Eevee and we can turn that into a Sylveon. We'll see, but I'm overall very happy with the Umbreon, because Umbreon is pretty much one of the best evolutions out there. I mean, even if people had to vote on it, Umbreon would probably be really high on that list, if not number one. And now that we're done evolving that Shundo, it's time to wrap up this video, but you know, we gotta do the positive comment shout out. And to be honest with you, I haven't done it in the past two videos. So we're gonna make this one a big one and I'm gonna say thank you to everybody who enjoyed the edits that I did in the previous video. It took a lot of time to make them, so I don't know how often I can do that, but I'm gonna do my best to include them more because I see that you guys really like them and I enjoyed making them, honestly. It takes time, it's a little tedious, but it's also fun to get that final result, and I really enjoyed making, like, the conductor hat tro torquil, you know what I mean? Like, that was a lot of fun, plus the Flygon on the sand dunes. Like, I like making my creativity flow like that, and if you want to see more like that, please let me know in the comments down below, because, I mean, yeah, if enough people are really down for it, as it seems like you guys are, I'll keep making them. But with that being said, this is going to be the end of the video, and if you've enjoyed it, and I really hope you have, please smash the like button, show me some love, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell icon so you know when I upload, and also comment down below, how was your EV community day? Did you get anything good? Did you get wild spawning hair across and get a shiny one? How about a shundo of anything? Please uh, let me know in those comments down below. And if you really enjoy the content and you want to help the channel grow even more, there's a link to the Patreon in the description box below. But with that being said, this is going to be the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.